Right, so what we need first of all is a A4 sheet of photocopying paper and we need to make a square of that. So I'm folding diagonal here. Holding back the excess. Making sure the crease is good and strong. Then with a bit of luck, I can tear it along the seam. There you go. So I've got one diagonal already, so let's make the second diagonal. Try to be accurate, unlike me. Turn the paper over and make the book fold side to side in both directions. Good, now we need two more folds before we can start putting the thing together. What you need to do, you see the middle there, and you see that we have this edge. This edge has to be folded over to meet this diagonal, and also go through the middle, like that. And squeeze that down and unfold it. Now turn the page 90 degrees and do the same thing. Now take the uh, paper and uh, turn it upside down make sure that the middle point is pushed up towards you take this fold here and bring it so that it lies under the main part of the paper then take this little flap here and fold it up as far as it will go and then hide it under the top layer. Turn around 90 degrees and repeat the whole thing. And since there's four corners of the paper, you have to do it a total of four times. and four. Right. So far so good. I think you, uh, with a bit of luck, you have this kind of spiral pattern on the inside. Now what I want to do now is to open out these veins on the side. But to do that I have to put my finger inside and add a new crease going from the base of the vein to the start of the next one like that and then you can see this vein is nicely curled outwards like that now all you have to do is repeat that another three times put your finger to open out the vein and then add a crease at the bottom Finger in the vein, open up the crease, and the crease across to the next vein. There you go. And the last one, 
open up the vein and the crease notice that the creases go exactly from the end of the pocket to the beginning of the next vein that has to be fairly accurate otherwise things get lopsided now turn it the other way up make sure all the pockets are nicely open and we're more or less finished now you may ask yourself how this works allow me to show you right now get yourself a pencil not too sharp otherwise uh, it'll poke a hole in the windmill and take your windmill set it on top of it make sure it's got free movement and then hold it up and give it a gentle blow now isn't that cute